You know, Dr. Burke, one question I would have for you is uh, you do have a, a clear and I would say a pure view of how life would be better. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you sort of wonder how you can you can get there. You, we, you talked about it a little bit earlier, but uh, we do have this very polarized country. We have a lot of different perspectives. How would we ever get everybody on board to take out all the regulation? We have so many winners and losers in the existing system. It, it cannot be done unless there are fundamental changes in the way Americans think about the world. I mean, I, I'm, I'm under no illusion that we could cut some kind of deal and, and, and start moving the country in my direction. And again, I believe the right has lost every significant battle about government intervention since probably 1913, since the Woodrow Wilson administration. I can't remember a victory that the right has had other than deregulation during the um, Carter administration and then under Reagan. There's almost been no victories on the right because I think the right has not staked out a position. So they were against, uh, they were against the New Deal and they folded. They were against the Great Society and they folded. They were against everything that the Democrats put in, that the left put in, and they folded on it and, and, and loaded up on it, like Part D of Medicare under George Bush. They doubled up on it. They, they grew it, or Sarbanes Oxley under Bush, you know, bigger regulatory state with no real, with no z huge costs. Um, so I think the way to move the country in that direction is to question fundamental beliefs. And again, I think part of that is this notion that today we see both on the Trump campaign and on the Sanders campaign and on the Clinton campaign is, is a general uh, view of collectivism, both right and left. Uh, I was horrified, for example, when uh, McCain came out of the Republican National Convention eight years ago with the slogan, country first. Now, to me, country first is a fascist slogan. <laughs> America's not fascist. America's not about country first. America's about, in its original intent, about the individual first. Individual rights. The government is there to serve us. It's our servant. It's there to protect us. It's there to eliminate uh, wealth that is created by fraud. Certainly, the inequality, if you want to call it that, created by Bernie Madoff shouldn't have been allowed to occur, right? He, should, he went to jail as a consequence. And, probably should have been caught a lot, lot earlier than he was. So that's the job of the government. That's what the government is there to do. It's to protect us. And until Americans are willing to accept that much more limited role of government, and, and this goes back, I mean, this goes to a much more fundamental issue, which is a moral issue, right? That the, that the center of morality, the, the, the focal point of morality is not the collective good. It's not the good of others. It's not society's well-being, the common good, the public interest, all these terms, which in my view mean very little other than the pressure group politics that are behind them. And at the end of the day, this country was founded on a new vision of the good for the individual. And that the good for the individual fundamentally is to be left alone, is to be free, free to pursue his happiness in the way he chooses to pursue it. And sometimes that leads to great wealth, and sometimes it doesn't. But it's not the government's or society's job to then come in and, and rejigger that. 